Well, hello there folks and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Here we are again. We're back on a new video, a new week, a brand new video. We're heading back to Glenallachie. We're heading up on the space side. Glenallachie Portwood finished 10 year old age statement, 48% ABV, non-chill filtered, natural colour, tick, tick, tick. So we've got all that out of the way. This was matured for over eight years in American oak barrels. Had a finishing period in uh, ruby port pipes. So yeah, so I'm really, really looking forward. It was re-racked into ruby port pipes. So really looking forward to diving into this one, guys. Guys, I'm not going to tell you too much about Glen Allocky. I've done a lot of Glen Allocky videos over the last couple of years. Check back out. I'll pop some links up here, here, and here. Going to make this a quick hitter. I'm getting excited. I'm back on Glenallachie. I've not done. I've been sitting with this one for a wee wee while now. I've been enjoying it for probably a good 18 months now. Can't understand why I've not reviewed it yet. But today's the day. Let's dive in. I'm going to nose it, taste it, score it, share it with you. So on the nose of this one, I've had it covered up, guys, for the last hour or so by my trusty batch three whiskey friend doing the hatch whiskey battle coins got it poured into my beautiful new whiskey friend copitas yes guys i do have them still available if you want to support the channel and you want to pick up some coins you want to pick up some glasses i'll pop all the links into the description you can catch up me there just drop me an email folks so all that's out of the way let's dive in no housekeeping today, folks. We're going to dive into the whiskey. I'm going to try and make this a quick one. So on that nose, it's it's surprisingly spicy on the nose. That typical Glenallachy honey note is in there all over it. Here comes the red fruits, which is port finish. So that's going to be no surprises in here. But some lovely red fruit, red berries. Maybe some red apple, spicy apple, spicy honey. There's a nice bust bust of spice in there. So see, it's 48% ABV. There's a little hit on the nose. It's got a beautiful floral note to the nose. It's it's like a flower basket. Nice spiced oak in there as well. So there's a little woody note. I know it's a wood finish, but it's a little bit oaky, a little bit woody. Lovely vanilla note, some really nice sweet vanilla. And some chocolate. So that, that's pretty much the nose on that one. So nice, but it's spicy, oaky, fruity. Honeyed. Vanilla. So let's see what it tastes like, folks. You know where this one's going? Straight down the hatch. Responsibly, of course. Oh. This is where this gets interesting for me. Is it reminds me. Nice spicy hit there. Nice ABV to 48%. It reminds me of a box of chocolates. Because it's very chocolatey. But it's got different centres. It's got a nice soft strawberry centre. Nice, nice soft raspberry centre. But at the same time there's some nice treacle notes in there. Toffee. So the chocolate covered caramel. Chocolate covered, covered treacle. It's spicy, some soft spices, some cinnamon, some clove and some nutmeg. Some real soft spices in there. But it's all about the the, the, the box, the, the chocolates, the soft centres, the hard centres, the honey centred. So it definitely reminds me of a box of chocolates. And I'm beginning to feel like and sound like maybe a bit of Forrest Gump. That... Life's like a box of chocolates, and th this is exactly what this whiskey's like. As you go back and sip it, you don't know which one you're going to get. You don't know whether you're going to get the strawberry centre, or you don't know if you're going to get the hard treacle centre. So 
such a nice piece of work. I've thoroughly enjoyed it over the last 18 months. Don't know why it's taken me so long to get to review it. But yeah, it's just lovely, lovely whiskey. Nicely put together. When I first opened it, like most Glen Allakies, it was a little bit uptight and a little bit kind of, wow, have I made a boob here? But gradually, as it's gone down the fill level, like most Glen Allakies, they definitely, definitely get better. So, let's do a little bit for the finish and then I'll score it and I'll get gone. This one's a kind of medium long finish. The spice is all over it. The ball is is wonderfully balanced as well between the fruit and the spice. The chocolate toffee, beautifully integrated, beautifully it all comes together. It's like it's layered. It comes through, but into the finish, the honey's all over it, the chocolate's all over it, the spice is all over it. Those soft spices are in there. That ABV carries all the way through. Comes in punchy, comes in a little bit intense and it continues all the way through, all the way to the finish. So, absolutely fantastic. So, what would we score this one? I've got no hesitation in scoring this one, guys. This is an 87 out of 100. Absolutely wonderful. I picked this up for around about the 50 to 55 pound mark seems to be the going rate for this kind of whiskey absolutely wonderful i'm looking forward to you. this is what i'm going to pass over to you guys in the chat guys have you tried any of the glenallachie wood finishes have you tried the rye ones have you tried the well if you tried the all Rosso, dive into the comments let me know what you think about it i'm looking forward to trying this 13 year old madeira and i'm looking forward to trying i'm looking forward to trying them all guys i'm going to get into them at some point but dive into the comments, let me know what you think of the wood finishes, have you tried them, have you enjoyed them, are you liking the 48% ABV, is the re-racking working for you, are you noticing that they're re-racked and they're not fully matured, dive in guys, I'm looking forward to catching up in the comments, if you've liked the video don't forget to give me the thumbs up, smash that button down below if you haven't already, the big red thing down here, and obviously don't forget the bell guys to be kept up to date whenever I'm putting out a new video or a new live stream. Quick shout out to my Patreons guys. The, the guys have been with me through thick and thin. I've got a merry little bunch of Patreons. If you want to check out that page, go over, check it out. Any support that comes this way is absolutely fantastic. It just goes into buying more of this stuff and more of this stuff and upgrading the equipment. So that's absolutely fantastic. That's pretty much for this one, guys. I want to make it a short, sweet video. I'm a wee bit conscious that some of them are dragging on a wee bit longer than, than they should, maybe. Maybe just Alan just enjoying himself too much. So, until the next one, I'm Alan. I'm the Whiskey Friend. As always, the pleasures and the sharing. Please don't forget to send the good whiskey straight in the hat.